Aircraft design has continuously evolved with engineers and pilots seeking new ways to improve performance, safety and comfort. One of the more unusual design ideas in aviation history is the concept of a prone position aircraft, where the pilot flies lying down rather than seated upright. Interestingly, with electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, this design is being reconsidered. Let's take a journey into this innovative yet rarely implemented aviation concept. The idea of a prone position for pilots dates back to the early 20th century. Designers envisioned that by positioning the pilot in a prone or lying down position, they could minimize the pilot's exposure to high G forces and make the aircraft more aerodynamic. Interestingly, one of the earliest aircraft, the Wright Flyer, was also piloted in a prone position. During World War II, this design was given serious consideration. Some experimental military aircraft incorporated prone cockpits to help pilots tolerate higher G-forces during sharp maneuvers or in high-speed jets. One of the most notable examples was the British Gloucester Meteor F-8 and later the Gloucester Meteor prone pilot, both built for experimentation. On the German side, the Horten H-4 flying wing is another example which ultimately culminated into the mythical Horten G-229. However, these aircraft faded into oblivion, but thanks to electric propulsion technology, interest in the prone position aircraft has reignited because it allows for VTOL aircraft to be made in its simplest form. The high torque density of electric motors compared to conventional engines allows designs that were deemed difficult, impractical and non-efficient using conventional propulsion methods to be re-examined. Coaxial configuration of propellers is one such example. Despite the known benefits, the coaxial props were difficult to achieve because of the complex gearing requirements. Now each propeller in the coaxial configuration can be attached to an individual motor. Because of electric propulsion, it is easier to have multiple propulsors, that is, distributed propulsion. The recent interest in prone position aircraft was kicked off by NASA. Their concept called the Puffin, a twin rotor system aircraft, was unveiled back in 2009. It was an all-battery personal ev told aircraft. For the first time, the world caught a glimpse of how electric propulsion might transform everyday flight. In 2010, according to one website, the first EVTOL aircraft flown was the NASA's Puffin subscale EVTOL tail-sitting aircraft. The concept design was projected to be capable of flying a single person at a speed of 150 miles per hour, with a range expected to be less than 50 miles or 80 kilometers, with 2010 vintage lithium-iron phosphate battery technology. The design specified a 4.1 meter wingspan, standing 3.65 meter tall on the ground in its takeoff and landing configuration. Compared to the older prone position aircraft in which the pilots had to crawl into the cockpit, the modern EVTOLs are tail sitters in which the pilot boards in the standing position. The aircraft also takes off and lands while the pilot is standing upright. After the climb is complete, the whole aircraft tilts to a horizontal position and uses the aircraft fuselage as a lifting body. Wings may also be present for added lift. The advantage of prone position aircraft is that they don't have complex tilting mechanisms. They can be made with smaller frontal area, thus lowering their profile and improving aerodynamics. It is also understandable that one cannot stay in a prone position for a long time. Therefore, these aircraft are being made for medical evacs or short hops or short recreational flights. The Zeva Z2 is one such aircraft. It can be described as a tail sitter with props at the bottom. The sleek design gives it a top speed of 160 miles per hour, which is far quicker than any other personal EV tow. And it does that without tilting propulsion system or lift plus cruise arrangement. This aircraft also has a fairly respectable range of over 50 miles. 
it can hover for around 2 minutes and have a 20 minute cruise flight from a full charge of its 35 kilowatt hour battery pack. Another aircraft being developed is the JA-1 by Jump Aero. It can be described as a biplane standing tail sitter. This is specifically designed for first responders to fly to the scene of an emergency as fast as possible. The aircraft can reach any destination within 50 kilometers in less than 10 minutes. It's got a payload capacity of 150 kilograms which allows one paramedic with equipment. It has also got eight independent and cross-linkable 11 kilowatt hour batteries. The last aircraft worth mentioning is the Verti Electric Volpar GF. It is a tail sitter with an X-tail biplane. It has four electric propellers and each propeller has five blades with bent prop tips. The Volpar can accommodate a pilot of 185 cm height. The bent propeller tips not only reduce the noise but also add safety in case of a strike. The prone position aircraft are a great design for personal transport eVTOL aircraft. It gives the ideal combination of lift through wings for long range and rotors for vertical climb and descent. To achieve tilting controls for horizontal flight, at least four props are required. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.